Okay, so I have been losing my entire mind over this mushroom. So this is the scaly sawgill mushroom. It's just kind of like a regular old mushroom. It's a saprophyte, which means it decomposes old dead wood. So it lives on things like dead trees, logs, stumps, all that, breaking down all of the organic matter in it to use as its own fuel. That's all well and good. The part I'm losing my mind over is where it gets its other name from. The other pretty common name for the scaly sawgill mushroom is the train wrecker mushroom. Yeah. So as I said before, it lives on dead wood and all that, which happens to be what railroad ties are made of. These, like, slats of wood underneath the actual tracks, those are the railroad ties, and they are dead wood. And this mushroom really likes dead wood, so this mushroom really, really likes railroad ties. So it will grow on the railroad ties. Now that wouldn't seem like much of a problem, except for the fact that it decomposes the wood. It breaks it down so it loses its structure and eventually just becomes like a pile of splinters, which if you have a train on those piles of splinters, that is not good. So at the very least, it causes the railroad ties to need to be replaced, Qu uh, not quite often, but often enough. So if it gets noticed, that's all well and good, a bit of a pain because you have to like take out and replace an entire section of tracks just so the fungus doesn't spread around and decompose the rest of your train tracks. But maybe the mushrooms are in a place that's a bit more in the middle of nowhere, so people don't really notice until it's eaten away pretty much the entire railroad tie, or couple railroad ties, and as you may guess, that's not great and it may cause the train to derail because there's nothing holding the tracks down because it got eaten by mushrooms. And thus comes the name, the train wrecker mushrooms, because it has caused trains to derail because it decomposed the railroad ties right underneath the trains. And that is not a great thing to happen. Kind of the reason that this specific mushroom is called the train wrecker mushroom and not like other mushrooms that decompose wood is that these ones in specific are weirdly resistant to creosote, which is kind of a preservative finishing agent that's used on wood to like resist wear and bacteria and other fungi and like water damage and all that to make the wood last longer. But this fungus kind of sees that and goes, hmm, no thank you, I'm gonna eat this anyway, and then, yeah, just eats the stuff that is underneath the creosote. It is also edible too, which, like, yeah, why not? Apparently it's, like, not very good, but you can eat it. Yeah, the train wrecker mushroom, which I am fully obsessed with right now.